One of the things that surprised me when I first moved to Poland was that hip-hop was largely popular here, despite it always having been considered an American art form, specifically an African-American art form. So today, I'm surprised to be sitting with a man who has immigrated from the United States to kick off his rap career. Right, so if you can just tell me a little bit about your background, who you are, where you're from. Simply, uh, born in Texas, 26 years old. Uh, had the ambition to be an entertainer from a young age and uh, got a ticket to New York when I was 18 years old and then that's when I became who you see today. I'm assuming it was probably hard for you to imagine that you'd end up at this phase in your life living in Poland. I'm curious, when you were a child in Texas, what did you know about the country of Poland? Nothing. <laughs> I never heard of Poland. No, I didn't even know if it was a country or not. I never heard of it at all. Do you remember the first time you did hear about Poland? Yeah, I always remember that. I was in New York City working at um, a hot dog stand in, in Times Square. So I'm working there and I'm meeting people from all over the world. And then I see this young lady and her friend. She looked different. But they were speaking a language that I was unfamiliar with. And I'm a musician, so I'm, I'm hearing languages. I'm like, I can pick that up. I made eye contact and I asked them where they were from. And she said, Poland. I was like, what? Did you look into Poland after the girl? No, I, did, I didn't look into no. her. <laughs> I looked into her. <laughs> she interests me, not the country, and I, mm -hmm. to be honest. But the thing was, um, being around her and her friend, listening to the language, I did become interested. And the fact that it ended up being planted in my consciousness and I was actually aware of the country now. So I began to see and hear the words and the language and see it in movies in my own culture in America. And I started to, it started to pick up like, ah, oh, okay, hold it. Ah. What transpired that ended up with you coming over here? A dream, I could say, a dream. The scariest thing was coming over here and knowing that somebody you care about is also involved. That was scary. But logically, as a young artist, I'm thinking, yo, that's a perfect step. I'm fearless. Why not go to Poland if it's so close to Europe? You know? And then it's Eastern Europe. Like, do they even have hip hop in Ukraine? Like, I didn't know this. I don't know. But shit, I'm thinking, why not? Maybe I can go to Ukraine. Maybe I can go to Russia and, and do some music. And then, hey, Asia's not so far. And the first place I landed in Europe was Copenhagen. Okay. And then Copenhagen to Warsaw. But your final destination was Warsaw. Was Warsaw. Yes, sir. You've never been to Poland? Never. You didn't speak the language? Not at all. You didn't have friends waiting for you here? No. All you knew was that you saw two girls at a hot dog stand in Times Square. And one of them invited me. <laughs> That's it. What became of uh, the girl who invited you? That's the love of my life right now. That's somebody I really care about. Yeah, because you got to realize that uh, I'm the type of person who doesn't trust people. I don't deal with, I don't really deal with many people. Mm -hmm. I'm very keen to vibration and, and spirituality in a way where what you try to hide, I see. I trusted her. And then I worked on trusting her more and more from being such a close person. And now, now I can be vulnerable with this type of person and I can trust her. It's obviously some type of love, you know? I couldn't describe it in no other words. It actually, it wasn't even the fact that she was Polish. It was the nah. fact that she was her. It was her. There you go, brother. That's exactly what it was. What was your first impression off the airplane? Really? Mm. <laughs> the signs were the first thing that, that had me like nervous because it's like, yo, you got to think, Blue. In New York, I'm seeing signs in English, Chinese, Spanish, Arabic, uh, Indian, like I'm seeing it in different languages. But now you're in a country that only speaks their language and you don't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm. I know nothing about the language. So reading the signs was like, what? What would you say Polish people's first impression of you was like? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, cool. Nah, but I mean, you get what I'm saying. When they saw me, some of them for the first time were like, what? Kids love it. That's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. curious. It's just like, oh, he's an alien. Yay. I mean, the thing is, dude, you're a character even for Times Square. I know. Like, I'm looking exactly. at you. Exactly. What the? <laughs> you're like a mix of a 
pirate and uh-huh. a bohemian hippie or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> you now nah, we got like six more to go, and it's yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, um, they were either um, enjoying that I was different, curious, or shocked. But I've had a few people who were fearful, and fear is usually uh, expressed in anger. Racial remarks? Yeah. Yeah, I had a few. I actually had them um, last year. Me and my lady went to just go eat, go back home, and it's literally in the same block that I live. And two gentlemen were doing just fine before we walked by. Mm-hmm. And then we walked by, and oh, you don't like it. Do, do, they start singing some song, and it's like, I turn around real quietly because I told my lady, because she understands the language, I don't. Mm-hmm. So I kind of get the handicap of ignoring a lot easier. She knows what they're saying. I said, look, you can't say what you want to say to anybody. Mind you, my heart is pumping because I want to punch a kid in the face for just being rude. It's like mm. me and my lady, bro. Like, where's your respect? Did your parents not teach you to respect other people? And if they didn't, I feel sorry for you because you're not going to really grow anywhere else in this world except here in this little place that you... Yeah. Oh, oh, what? What, man? Don't do that again. Okay, okay, go home. Go home. No, you go home. What do you mean go home? In the context of going home, I knew what they were meaning because they might not have spoke English, but it wasn't go home to Kabati where I stayed. It was go home. So you came to Poland mm-hmm. for love. Mm-hmm. You've discovered a culture that you seem to admire and you would like to contribute entertainment, music, art to this place. I'm curious, your art form is hip hop music. Yeah, that's what the root. You, what do you think of Polish hip hop? Uh, it's growing. Like I said, a lot of the, uh, is, is the funny thing to me is because we're speaking on hip hop in this segment, uh, hip hop to them is just a cookie cut because listening to the style and seeing how they dress, we did that 10 years ago. Like I grew up on this, we created it naturally. They just liked it, enjoyed it and use it their way. But the beautiful thing is now it's starting to change in a way where they're creating their own style, look, sound. Yeah. Like they have their own artists, characters, like some of the cats that I met in Moldavilki, I wouldn't probably see in an American market, but yo, he's Polish, he's doing hip hop, he's spitting rhymes, Mm -hmm. it might sound similar to ours, but that's all hip hop, it's a community, but he has his own swag, and that's different. You asked me if you should if you should be prepared for any questions, but uh, it's not a question, I I was really curious about your freestyle ability. Oh, (laughs) really? I can dig it. But like right now? When? Tomorrow? I got the cameras going now. Cameras right, going so now. I'm gonna uh, give you a topic. Okay. Come on, you gotta. We're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can fuck with you a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a topic. I want you to go for it. Okay. We'll start off easy. All right, easy, easy. Warsaw. Warsaw, Poland. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's this way I go towards Pisiec. No, I mean I'm leaving Warsaw, and that might be fine, but. Tonight I'm with a nice shorty and uh, yeah, right, she be a dime. She telling me, yeah, Bieski, Chaka, you might want to wait, I mean, see, I don't hate on you cause you from another place. Now we in Warsaw, my face is changing up. I'm looking at the place and such. I ask for pierogi or kebab. It depends if I'm on my job or I'm hungry. Govne, 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 Give me one more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this one count. This, this one's count. for the Cult America viewers. We're gonna go easy, softball, rap about Polish girls. I think it's gonna pass. All right, I'm not gonna pass. I can't pass. Like, what kind of artist is to say, no, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Well, bro. I thought maybe your girlfriend's a little possessive, gonna get upset. I see my girlfriend, bro. That's my Krolova. My Krolova, Scrooge I thought I told you, near Dubja. This my Jevo. I thought I let you know I don't wanna really holler at the Polish girls right now, cause I'm cool and I know somehow that I might have to uh, move like cow. I mean, don't want no beef. You looking good, real fine, uh, walking down the street. I mean, what I've learned about the Polish ladies is they're sometimes stronger than the men, and that's shady, but I don't want to say nothing to disrespect my homies. We can sit down, drink, and eat some pierogi. I mean, uh, I see a mass sketch night or a ritual or any other club, and man, it's like a ritual because she be fine with her friends. They just want to jump on me because he's tiny, and it's cool, but it's all right. I mean, I'm just saying what I'm saying in my brain when I'm saying what I'm saying, uh, it'd be a stain. I mean, 
I'm insane. Nie wiem, nie wiem, bro. Powiedz mi, jak idzie z twoje języka polskiego. Jak masz na imię? Imię. E, jestem niebieski. Okay. Niebieski, tak? Niebieski. Tak, A, dobrze. Ile masz lat? 12. No, 12 jest 12. <laughs> Wait, bro, hello, man. 20. 20. 20. 26. 26. 26. Dobrze. Okej. Okay. Skąd pochodzi? That I never heard. A skąd jesteś? Skąd jesteś? Skąd jaki, I've heard. Z jaki kraj pochodzi? No, I don't know, bro. Okay, I was just asking you what country you're from. Really? One yeah. more time, though. I see your friends from Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but he been here longer than me. I speak Russian because I was in Ukraine. I was in some you know, kind of... You look Russian. like you speak yeah. Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. I, I agree with that. that. I agree with that. All right, so if you had a message for the people of Poland, now that you're uh, among them, what would that message be? See the gold in your country. Because there's magic here that needs to be tapped into. And the only people who can tap into that are the Polish people. Tap into your own inner selves and be open and not too open, of course, but be open to what else the world has to offer because it, it, it helps you become a better country. Well, I also think that Polish people should tap into the Cult America channel by tapping He's the subscribe right. button so that you can see more <laughs> people like Blue, maybe you even see him again. Also. Maybe. Without being too brutal, please write your comments in the comment section. What do you think about having him in Polish society? Do you welcome him? Do you shun him? What are your opinions? But be careful what you say, because I like this guy and I want him to stick around. <laughs> I don't know how to do all that fucking bullshit. We did it. It was enough, bro. Like, what else are we supposed to do? Like, eh, eh.